We're going to make this short, quick, and to the point today. Uh, Trump signed executive order abolishing the National Environment Policy Act, removing restrictions on fracking and directing the Environmental Protection Agency to suspend, revise, or abolish the Clean Power Plan. Now, the fracking thing was the first part that stood out to me because I remember there was a debate in late 2015, I think it was October, where Trump called out Kasich's uh, approval rating or his success as governor of Ohio for him using fracking. And from the way that his response was framed and from his general tone, you could tell it was something that he thought in a negative uh, sense. So with that being said, why would you remove restrictions on fracking if you think of it so negatively? But it's this whole thing about we'll say one thing when we're out of office and then say something or do something else when we're in there, which is commonplace, unfortunately, with these uh, elected officials. Now, Press Secretary Spicer denied allegations the White House attempted to prevent former acting Attorney General Yates from testifying to the House Intelligence Committee. You know, this really has more to do with Yates and her, I guess, subsequent rise to notoriety. It was established that the Democrats were trying to recruit her to run for governor uh, next year. And, you know, they she was nominated by, I think, a congressman for the JFK Profiles and Courage Award. And all I could think to myself is, how is it courageous to do exactly what your party wanted you to do? In an era where every Democrat that is in office is on, is practically lining up to oppose Trump in any way possible, you really can't convey to me with legitimacy that this is actually something that is respectable in the sense of, oh man, look at what she did to stand up to Trump. Wow, we've got a, sh what a courageous effort. No, you're going with your party. Who cares if they're not in the administration? You're still going with your party with nothing to lose. She didn't want that job. So that's just my opinion.